What's up, Collider fans? Disney is shutting down Disney Toon Studios. We'll talk about what this means and more next. All right, Jeff Snyder here, joined by Mark Riley. Mark, we're seeing news out of the Hollywood Reporter yep. that Disney is shutting down its Disney Toon Studios, which is the animation house behind many of its direct video releases, as well as the Planes movies that managed to sneak into theaters. Yeah. What do you think that this means? What do you think? Uh, I mean, it's a little bit of a bummer because it, it's kind of the final nail in the coffin for 2D animation because I know they did a lot of direct-to-DVD kind of, uh, you know, Lilo and Stitch 2, uh, Stitch has a glitch, Cinderella 3, a twist in time. Oh my god, I've never heard of these. I, I, and I haven't either, and, and I know that they're direct-to-DVD for a reason, but they did do the Planes franchise, they did do Fairies and, and the Tinkerbell... Um, kind of franchise that they were trying to, you know, mm -hmm. that kept going. It's a little bit sad because I happen to know a, a few voice actors that were working in that studio that know people that behind the scenes, the animators. So it's, it's sad that people are going to lose their jobs over this, but it makes, you know, look, they haven't been around for a while. They haven't released something in a while. Is, is that correct? That's I mean, yeah, it's been, it's been four years since their last movie, uh, yeah. which was the plane sequel, right? Fire and Rescue. Fire and Rescue. And then Tinkerbell and, and, the, and the Legend of the Neverbees. And listen, a lot of these movies are not things that you and I would ever no. see. We don't have children. But for those who do have children, you know, th this is how you entertain them. It's all these direct-to-video sequels to the, the hand-drawn animated stuff. Yes. Um, so, so that comes as a blow. Now, it, this comes as Disney is going to be launching its stream service right and you'd think that maybe they'd want to keep Disney Toon Studios open to con continue churning out these directed video sequels for that service but yeah. I guess they're going in another direction yeah we don't know what that direction is either but I uh, but yeah that would make a lot of sense where you could have a, a virtually a lot of uh, and I'm I'm assuming they would put some of this older content that they did create yes. from Disney Toon on that streaming service but why not create something for the younger viewers that are gonna be out right. there they could keep doing that so it's obviously something they have a bigger plan. We just don't know what it is yet. It, it may simply be that they want to put those resources into creating new original content for the streaming service. Right. Um, like you said, there's a lot of jobs at stake here. Yes. Disney Toon based out of Glendale. We're not sure if there's going to be layoffs. Nothing was announced. Maybe right. they'll find a way to reintegrate these people into the company. Uh, but you know what, what is really interesting, and, and maybe you know this precipitated the decision to shut this down, is all the changes in, in the animation leadership right. over at Disney with, with John Lasseter leaving. We have uh, Pete, Pete Doctor, Doctor right and there. Jennifer you know. Lee. Yep. Yeah. You, I, I beat you to it. Yeah. Pete Doctor taking over for Pixar. Jennifer Lee taking over <laughs> for the Walt Disney Animation Company. But that's a that's a big question mark for me. What what are they going to do? What are, where are these people going to go? Are they going to be going into other areas? I'm wondering if they have something planned specifically for the streaming service that might not be under the banner Disney Tune, but something else. I mean, I, I understand though that it seemed like there was a lot of different factions within Disney as a whole. You have the Pixar, you have the Disney Animation, Disney Tune. It did seem like a lot. Obviously, these guys first on the chopping block. Yeah. It's kind of sad. I, it, I, I hope that they're not going to lose jobs and they're going to be able to move into something else more creative, maybe more. It, it's sad because they have a rich history of, of animation. Um, yeah, I but, actually but grew but up from, with some of these titles. But from, from a business perspective, I think it makes sense for Disney. Well, yeah, the business perspective angle, when you say 2014 and I go, oh, I didn't even notice. So right. there you go. That should tell you everything. And I don't know like what the deal is with you know if Disney does get Fox uh, with the Fox animation stuff. Like oh, they yeah. use a lot of Blue Sky, right? Blue right. Sky Studios. I don't know if those guys will, will uh, start creating work for Disney. Oh, Who boy. knows? Anyways, R.I.P. Disney Toon Studios. Now it's time for you guys to weigh in. Let us know what you think about this. Is this a big deal? Are you, are you gonna miss it? Are your kids gonna miss it? Leave a comment. Like this video and subscribe to Collider for more.